Good morning, everybody. Well, it rained pretty good last night. A little break in the clouds right now, but uh, where that rainbow was, uh, all behind that, so uh, more rain, rain coming. Um, somebody asked asked me again today to show more scenery. I don't see any scenery on the drive to work and from work. Um, I'm just driving through town. Uh, that's it. So that's that's why I don't, you know, show like forward view. It's like there's nothing to see. It's just houses, buildings. That's it. But it'd be nice if it if it was gave a little break for a little while to get some sun for solar. I'm at like 240 amps right now to overall total. So, that's plenty fine, but now that I have all three, I would like to get them all up to 100 at one time, but with this weather, I, and I'm not going to just run the DC to DC. There's no reason to. That's just going to be if I have to, and I don't. I don't have to. I keep seeing a people parked over here in this park. I got to check that out one of these nights. See what that is. I don't know if it's somewhere I'd want to that I want to be in the winter, but nice to have options day off but heading to work I thought about getting a, going to Carl's today because something different but I don't really like Carl's food really I mean that double cheeseburger wasn't bad the other day but I don't know I got some yogurt maybe just grab a yogurt and take it to work with me so uh probably stop Phil Diesel on the way to work. I don't know. Maybe not. i will wait till I have to work. Six and one half does the other, right? Slow going this morning. I got up like at two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock. Basically didn't go back to sleep the entire night. Maybe got an, maybe an hour nap in, in around five or something. But then I got hung after you know, two o'clock I was there laying in bed couldn't fall asleep then I got hungry so I got out of bed and ate chips and nacho cheese which fine 3 a.m. snack to me I had to, I had to finish that cheese anyway it's been sitting in the fridge for a while I don't know we'll see what we get into today it's going to be one of those days not much anything happening Get the heat on for the front. We're getting a little condensation. Yeah, I had absolutely nothing in my windows this morning. Um, it was hot in here last night, though. I I turned the heat off for most of the night. Uh, I had it off for like the last four hours that I was in bed, and it was still like. 58 degrees when I uh, turned it back on just to warm it up again before I got undressed and cleaned up. Yeah, I turned it off. I, I probably woke up at like 11, turned it off. I woke up at 2-ish, turned it on um, for like an hour. Turned it off and then I turned it back off, climbed back into bed after my snack. It was off till seven something. So, yeah, pretty warm in here last night. It was 40 degrees when I got up. The lowest I saw, I think, was 37 or something like that. Well, let's head to work. Another busy day, I'm sure. It's always busy. So, see you guys on the flip side. Okay, everybody, we are back at the parking lot. And we are done with work. Currently 46 degrees. It's not supposed to get that cold tonight in town, like 40. 
So I'm guessing it's going to be maybe mid 35 out here. Um, I may just heat the uh, van, well, shut the, uh, well, heat the whole van up. Good. Shut the front curtain and uh, see what it's like when I wake up in the middle of the night. Because really above freezing, it's too warm in here to run the run the, the heater. Unless I've got the exhaust fan going, you know, other fans blowing around. So I think we're just going to probably do that. Uh, we'll see how it cold is when I go to bed. But um, I may just go ahead and heat up the van good. And then in the morning, turn it back on to uh, warm the van up before I get up. Doing that, I could probably go three, four days on a tank of diesel. I'm just in the you know diesel heater itself. But, I mean, that, that temp isn't going to stay around many more days. But, okay. Uh, made some investments today. Hopefully, uh, I wish I would would have bought uh, the other day, but so I'm going to go ahead and get out of work clothes, get, uh, some outside hangout clothes on and we'll go outside and chit chat for a little while. Okay. Well, folks really disappointed. I didn't buy the, uh, my investment the other night when I wanted to. Yeah, I was going to do it. I'm like, oh, man, it's up so much. Well, now it's up a lot more than that. And I bought some today, and it still went up higher. Uh, hopefully, it continues to go up. If not, I'll lose some money. But it'd be nice to hit some home runs. I haven't had a chance to in a while. Um, now I have money coming in. Money I have, I can, you know, I can start putting into investments and trying to make that money grow and, you know, because like I said, you know, I don't want to be working for five more years. That's the outside. That's like the end of my, that's, you know, five years is the most I want to have to work and I don't want to work five more years. So, you know, maybe we can hit some home runs, get some, get lucky here and there. You know, you can make money. It's risky, but you have to do your due diligence. You know, you, you can't just go, oh, I heard so-and-so wants to buy X, and so I bought it. Why'd you buy X? Joe said to buy X. Not a good reason to buy X. So, got to know what's going on. Got to follow trends. Got to look at, you know, all kinds of different. I'm not going to tell you how to invest. Trust me. Not even going to begin to, because I don't want you to say, hey, well, that's how you said to do. No, I'm not going to tell you what to do at all. Um, you want to try to invest? Go do your thing. Buy stock and in investing for dummies, whatever. I don't, I don't know. But uh, I will not answer questions about what stocks or bonds or, you know, anything that I'm putting money into. I will not answer what they are. You want to know how I'm doing in life? I'll tell you up or down, but I'm not going to tell you what, you know. So, yeah. But you maybe, you know, I made 10% in a couple hours today. I mean, it's not, it wasn't much, but, you know, 10% is 10%. So, I mean, it'll have a little pullback, I'm sure, tomorrow. But hopefully the trend continues. You know, I really thought the day was going to be so grimy that I would have gotten no solar. I ended up getting uh, like a uh, 10% across the board on the batteries. Um, you know, that's pretty, pretty impressive with the, what I saw all, every time I looked outside, it's either rainy or dark cloudy. I never really saw any sun, but somehow we ended up getting like 30 amps tomorrow. Uh, it's supposed to be like this again. I have a cookbook coming in for my air fryer. So if if we get like we did today, I'm not going to worry about it. But if we don't get what I got today, I'll probably go ahead and uh, turn the charger on just for the heck of it tomorrow. But again, I don't know. I may just wait till my day off, um, see how far it goes down. And, you know, it's only a couple more days. I mean, I'm coming right back up every day. I'm not overall dropping, so... 
I don't know. But it'd be nice to get that air fryer cookbook because it's for one person. So it's small portions. Uh, one portions, or small portions for me is probably two two meals. But that'd be kind of cool. You know, I don't know what's in the book. Hopefully it's not just like pizza bagels, you know. Because, yeah, like you need a cookbook to tell you to throw half a bagel in the oven. Throw some sauce and pepperoni on it and, call, and cheese and call it good. But, you know. Hopefully they have something. It wasn't much, like 10 bucks or something. Um, another thing I bought for the van, uh, just the steering wheel isn't really ripped up, but it just grind, It just feels grimy. Even if I clean it, it doesn't feel clean. So I got a cover for the steering wheel. Um, that's, again, was like 10 bucks. You know, just small little things to make uh, life better, more enjoyable. So, uh, again, we got a couple more days of rain. I know I thought about staying in town tonight, but I've only got a couple more, really, days or weeks down here. Really, de probably days, really, that I can come down and be outside of town. So, we'll probably continue as much as we can. And like I said, I don't think it's supposed to uh, get as cold. Like I said, I'm guessing 35 for the low tonight. So, you know, not going to be snowy. I got ice. I got studs now. So if it gets a little slippery, I'm not worried. So, no. Okay, guys. I think that's all we're going to talk about for tonight. But thank you for watching, commenting, liking, sharing, subscribing. I'm getting a lot of, uh, a lot of feedback. The people like the short, you know, daily blogs. So we're, we're going to continue them. And, hey, you guys have a great morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. And we'll see you tomorrow on Jellybean Outdoors.